How to find this information? Jehovah's Witnesses Ease Punishment for Pedophiles in Manual Jehovah's Witnesses Doctrine Manual only judges pedophiles in the church if the victim has at least two witnesses. I went through two abuses in which I was not heard. This is the story of one of the victims of a pedophilia complaint within the Christian denomination, Jehovah's Witnesses. At the time of the incident, she was only 10 years old and, according to her, she was ignored by the court of the doctrine because she did not bring witnesses who could confirm the crime suffered. The organization claims to abhor child abuse and considers it a crime. However, publications support practices that make punishment more difficult. The magazine The Watchtower, announcing Jehovah's Kingdom, for example, serves as a handbook for congregation elders. One version states that at least two witnesses are required for a legal hearing to begin within the church against someone accused of child sexual abuse. This rule has a clearly discriminatory connotation against women and girls and allows the aggressor to continue committing this type of heinous crime, explains the public prosecutor, MPSP, and president of the Providima Institute, Celeste Leite dos Santos. According to her, as the crime occurs in secret, there are unlikely to be any witnesses. In addition to not protecting and welcoming the victim, it also encourages their re-victimization and, often, the victim is punished by being expelled from the community. The problem is known to the leadership of the church based in the United States, she argues.